Hey my loveds, welcome to another episode of Beanie TV where a few sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you guys so much. Um, if you have never been to my channel, I am Beanie and I am all things God, love, life, and wellness. Go ahead and check out all of my videos because I know you can receive something from any of my videos. Um, I like to start every single video with a affirmation. So go ahead and close your eyes, take a deep breath in, release. I am the divine partner that I am attracting. I am the divine partner that I am attracting. I am the divine partner that I am attracting. Go ahead and take a deep breath in, release. What is up everybody? Okay, so this hat is by my friend. The brand is called Higher Powers. It is all about creating higher frequency, higher energy through clothing such as hats, t-shirts, and sweatshirts. Um, I will leave the information below. Feel free to go over to his page and hit him up. I'm wearing a hat because I got a really shitty haircut. And, um, you know, I'm not embarrassed easily. And I'm usually very, like, good with how I physically am. Makeup, no makeup, braids, no braids. But this, my skin is all jacked up. My hair is jacked up. I am very excited to be going to Ghana next week because... <laughs> your girl needs a vacation two weeks ago I was feeling really really sad and very lonely because I was craving connection and outside of family and a lot of my friends I lost a lot of friends um, while I was grieving because I was pushing people away um, as some of you may know my grandma passed away in 2018 last year 2018 yeah so um that was like the biggest heartbreak ever didn't know how to react i reacted in the way that i knew best and i lost a lot of friends that way and a lot of friends actually moved um a lot of my friends um moved this year so um i don't really have a lot of friends right now so and the one friend I had, this person, they were they were going to some parties and um, yeah. So I felt lonely. I felt very lonely and I felt very sad. And I remember just crying. I have never felt like this before because I've always been someone that had friends. I was always doing stuff. Like I'm always like in the city, um, in New York City. I'm always like, you know, where's the party at? Like that is that was me and then um yeah and even a lot of my friendships ended when i moved to la because of this distance and the strain and whatever so i've never been here before so i'm um, this is new for me <clears throat> and then i started to tweet because like the internet so I started to tweet and a lot of people DM'd me and resonated with what I was saying. To be healed, to be lonely, and to be single. When you have been chosen, when you've been set apart, when you have decided to live an unconventional life, when you have decided to walk with Christ or whoever is your spiritual teacher, it is a lonely life because not, many are chosen, many are called, few are chosen. Many people are called, but not many people answer the call. So it's a lonely road to walk on. It's the path that has been barely treaded. And sometimes as conscious people, enlightened people, faith-based people, healed people, people that have done the fucking work, people that have released their abandonment issues, that have done the self-love, self-care work, the people that have gone to therapy, the people that have um, deleted their social medias to help their mental health, you know, they're ready. 
They're ready to be in relationships. They're ready to have the divine partner that they are manifesting. They're ready to be in love and not from a place of emptiness, but from a place of I'm full and I want to just share the love that is within me with somebody else because we are created in love and God knows that we need partnership. And there's the pickings are slim when you are doing, when you are healed, enlightened, conscious, faith-based. Not a lot of people are on that path, which has you feeling lonely. And then single. And um, the other day, Fatima of Soul Beauty Chat and I did a live on Instagram. Um, it's gone now. But uh, we did a live and we discussed what it means to be black and healed and single and lonely. And how, you know, how a lot of black men are not on the journey with black women to heal. And how that lessens the pool of romantic interest if you are only wanting black love. Which led us to the fact that Fatima and I are very open. Like, we are like, okay, if he's a, like, super pale ginger and is the person that God created for me, I'm with it. If he's, like, a deep, deep toned man from Kenya, I'm with it. You know what I mean? And then we talked about our lists. And then we talked about how, like, people who are healed, conscious, enlightened, faith-based, can't do the things that they used to do. You can't go to the same places. You can't hang out with the same people. You can't do the things that you did before because you are in a new dimension. You are in a new dimension. You are in a new consciousness. So the things that used to feel good and the things that used to make you feel that used to make sense don't make sense anymore. From that, I'm thinking I wanna start like a Facebook group a Facebook group of black people that are healed, single, and lonely to talk about the various reasons why, to talk about maybe things that are blocking us that we are not even aware of. Um, a lot of people really resonated with the vulnerability of saying I am single and lonely because as you guys know I have been on my self-love kick forever I love taking myself out on dates I used to I used to love taking myself to the movies and art exhibits walks in the park going to delicious dinners I took myself on Valentine's Day 2017 I took myself to an Erica Badu concert with myself Yes, it was a little nerve-wracking, anxiety on fleek, because I wasn't drinking at that time. But other than that, I did it. And now I've hit a plateau where I'm like, I don't want to do this anymore. I want a partner. I want a partner to go to Erica Badu with not going to sway. No, we can't dance. No, we can't say. I'll see you next lifetime. You know? I've hit a plateau. And I'm feeling it. I was so good before. I was like, I'm single with myself, working self-care, self-love. Okay, doing everything I was doing in my e-course, which if you are ready to take my self-development e-course, be sure to DM me on Instagram at Beanie TV. Um, and now I'm like, ooh, I don't want to do things with myself anymore. Still love myself, still care about myself, but I'm ready to partner up. So leave a comment below. Let's talk about being healed, single, and lonely. Um, I love you guys. Love looks good on you. Love is our birthright. We are deserving of amazing partnerships that match the God that lives within us. Leave a comment, subscribe, share this video with friends. Thanks guys.